Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris. Today, we're gonna check out the Capri Tools six point box in satin chrome reversible ratcheting wrenches. This set here is the metric set. This is a 12 piece set. And we did say that these feature a six point box in here. You can see that on the eight piece standard set as well as satin chrome. It kind of makes that a unique combination, and we're gonna see just how unique that is. We're gonna head out to some of your big box stores and see if we can find something that's comparable to these ratcheting reversible wrenches here. We'll then do some real world testing on these as well as see how that six point box end works on a fastener as well as that open end because they have some features on it that may be beneficial, that 15 degree offset as well as that six point box end. And maybe these are the next reversible ratcheting wrenches for you. So let's head out to the stores and see how these compare, what the size is on these, and then we'll get back and do some of that testing. We're going to start things off at Harbor Freight. Let's see what they have that compares to these. So once we're inside the store, you can see that they primarily only have chrome wrenches. Now these are all 12 point and the only reversible ratcheting wrenches that they have come in the icon line. And when you look at the icon, you can see that these are chrome. They're 12 point, but they're also quite a bit longer than the Capri tool ones. So these don't completely match up, but that leverage might be handy. Now let's go check out Home Depot and see what they have that compares to the Capri tools standard six point satin chrome reversible ratcheting wrenches. So the Home Depot has the Husky tool line. They got the reversible ones. They got the flex head ones, but those are both in chrome. They also do carry a black oxide. That's got that locking flex on there. And then they also do have the standard. Again, they don't have the satin finish and none of those were the six point box in. Here's a direct comparison to the standard ratcheting wrench. You can see it's quite a bit shorter and definitely when you're looking at these, you can see the light difference on these and maybe you're liking that satin finish. I'm kind of liking it. Uh, it looks like the open end is substantially different on these two. You can really get around a fastener a lot better on that Capri tools. And then here again is a direct comparison to the reversible ratcheting wrench. And you can see that it has that 15 degree offset as well as that V notch in the open end. And I'm really liking the Capri tools ratcheting wrenches here. And again, they're a little bit longer so you can get a little bit more torque on that wrench. Here now we're at Menards. Menards carries Master Force. So let's head on inside and see how those compare. The Master Force was coming in with the reversible ratcheting wrenches, and those were coming in really pretty short. We'll do a direct comparison here in a moment. And they are also 12 point, and they have a chrome finish on it. Here's the standard ratcheting wrenches. Again, those are fairly short and only coming in with 12 point and also those don't have an offset to them. So here you can see that open end looks pretty comparable and they're substantially shorter when you're comparing them to the Capri tools, reversible ratcheting wrench. Here you can see that open end as well as the corners cut in that chrome. You can see some of the rough edges on that open end when you compare it to the Capri tools. So I'm really liking that satin chrome and I also like that six point box end. So we're gonna check out one of the auto parts stores that happens to be O'Reilly Auto Parts. They carry an in-house brand called Power Torque, and it looks like Power Torque is only gonna be able to deliver on a seven piece metric and a seven piece SAE set, both chrome, both 12 point. So we came up short there. Our last and final stop is going to be a pawn shop. Sometimes you can find a deal, sometimes not. We'll see what they have. And it looks like at the pawn shop, all we were able to come up with was a bunch of combination wrenches. And that's not gonna compare to the Capri tools. So after visiting multiple big box stores, we also did visit one of our local supply chains. 
we went to Lowe's, we went to AutoZone, and also Advanced Auto Parts. They didn't have anything in that satin finish, as well as that six-point reversible ratcheting wrench. If you also do check out products like Hazette, Wera, and Ghidorah, they also don't have anything that's really truly just like this. So this is pretty unique to Capri Tools. I'm really interested to see how these perform in the real world. So we're gonna go ahead and do an oil change on a Toyota Corolla, as well as replace a quick strut and a couple other things and see how these work. Then we'll come back to the garage and we'll finish up with some tests on the digital torque adapter to finally see how these things perform. So let's go look at the car and see what we can do. So we had zero issues using the Capri Tools ratcheting wrenches to change our oil. Here we can see a couple different brands we got for sizing as well as open end versus the ratcheting box end. You can see we got a Blackhawk, we got the Capri Tools, and then this is one of the extra long gear wrench. You can see that that one's slightly longer in most cases than the Capri Tools. You can see the Duralast here, it's shorter as well as if you look specifically at the selector switch on these, you can see here that the switch, it's relatively easy to use. And you can see here on the 14 millimeter, I personally, I don't own anything in six point that's ratcheting other than these long wrenches. And that's a double box with a zero offset. You can see that these are a good addition to the tools that I have. Here's a cobalt, a gear wrench flex head, and then the icon, you can really see the length difference. Now looking at SAE, you know, we have a Blackhawk compared to the Capri tools there. That's a three eighths inch. You can see that the selector switch is slightly pronounced on the Capri tools, where it's pretty flush when you look at the Blackhawk. Same goes for looking at the Capri tools ratcheting wrench compared to a Stanley. It's got the pronounced selector switch as well as that nice offset on that box end. Here you can see a standard SK Tools wrench and this is a three quarters for the Capri verse a 13 16. So you can see that the Capri Tools is longer that's the one thing with the Capri tools. It does max out with just that eight piece set. And then when you're looking at the metric, it does have just that 12 piece set. So now let's go put some torque on these Capri tools and see what they can do. So here we have the 14 millimeter Capri reversible ratcheting wrench. Now the drain pan for the oil or the oil plug on the Toyota Corolla is roughly around 30 foot pounds. So here you can see we're able to, with the open end on this wrench, put down definitely 30 foot pounds. Now you can see that open end has the radius cutouts and that allows for this to fit really nicely, made up and not have as much expansion on that open end. Now if you were worried about rounding off your fasteners, you can use that six point side and that's really what I like about this wrench is it's one of the few that allow you to lay down the amount of torque that you need and have that six point as well as that satin finish. So here we have the three quarter SAE version and we're gonna go ahead and try the open end on this wrench. Now there's a little extra removed from this fastener. You can see that that fits with a little bit of play in there and we're able to still wrench down quite a bit on that three quarter. And we'll go ahead and try the six point side here and see what we can lay down for some torque numbers. So 
So we'll go ahead and put some more torque on there. And again, that mechanism seems to function as we would expect. So let's add just a little bit more torque on that open end since it is a little slightly rounded. So we're able to, you know, do fairly well with that open end and put a good amount of torque on that. The radius cutouts allow us to apply torque to slightly rounded off fasteners as well as that box end keeps us from rounding off the fasteners. Now I'll also go ahead and use this adapter that we made. We'll screw in this 13 millimeter fork with the open end on this. Then we'll use the box end on there and to see what we can finally put down. If maybe we can twist off that. And it looks like we're definitely going to be able to twist off that fastener. So we'll try it one more time here. So it's easy to apply a lot of torque with that six point box end. You're able to twist off a 13 millimeter fastener without any issues on that box end. And if we were to listen to that mechanism, still sounds really nice and functions without any issues. So here we have another adapter here that we made and we'll see if we can apply some torque to this. This would be using the 9 16th. So we're gonna go ahead and slip a pipe on here and see if we're able to round off this fastener. So we were able to twist off the fastener with the 9 16 as well. So everything sounds really smooth inside there. We had no issues with any of the Capri ratcheting wrenches with that reversible selector switch that we tested out. So as far as warranty goes on the Capri, it's pretty much exactly like any of their other hand tools. If you have an issue, go ahead and message them on their warranty page, go to capritools.com. They should have information on how to resolve any of your issues. There is proof of purchase needed if you purchase it from somewhere other than capritools.com. So if you purchase these on Amazon, be prepared to show your order or invoice to have your warranty claim accepted. Well, I'm really excited to add them to my tools and I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have some ratcheting wrenches that you prefer, or you know of something really similar to these here, go ahead and put that down below in the comments. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.